Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.8 from Sadiku book. So the question is using node analysis, find V0. So V0 is the voltage across this resistor. Uh, and this is the circuit. So maybe the first thing that we need to do is we pick our ground from here. Okay, so we have the voltage here will be 0. Okay, and let's see what can we imply from here. Okay, now we have V here is 0 and the voltage here will be V0. So maybe we just name this node here as V0, right? And then this node here is 5V0 from the ground. So let's just maybe write that here so this is 5v0 and see here this not here we don't know the voltage yet so let's name this voltage here i mean let's name the node here as va maybe va and because this is a 60 volt voltage source the node here must be 64 lower than this node so we can just rewrite this as VA minus 60 right okay now let's assume the direction of the current so here we can apply here to the left and then continue to the downside and here I will assume the direction is going down and here I will assume the direction is going to the left. Okay, maybe let's do KCL at this node, right? Because that is the only essential node. The other node is not essential. Okay, we have, maybe we still use, we need to use KCL at node VA. KCL at node VA. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, the only currents that goes in is from here. And that is between this node and this node. So we can just rewrite that as 5V0 minus VA. Okay, 5V0 minus VA divided by the resistance between them that will be 20 okay now the current that goes out the only current that goes out no not the only current there are two currents that going out this is the first one and this is the second one maybe i will start from here the current that pass through this 20 ohm resistor and the value is between this node and this node so i will have va minus 60 and then minus zero because this is the ground divided by what this current this resistance so 20 here and then plus this current here that will be VA minus V0 divided by 6, right? Divided by 6. And as usual, because I do not work with fraction, I multiply this with what? 20, 20, and 6, maybe 60, right? 60. And if we multiply it by 60, here we have 3 to multiply with the numerator. So I will have 3 multiplied by 5, that will be 15. 15 V0 minus 3 VA. And on the right hand side, we also have 3 here. So I will have 3 VA. 3 VA. And then this is minus 60, right? Minus 60, but multiplied by 3, so I will have minus 180. And for this one, I will have 10 as the multiplier. So I'll have 10 VA minus 10 
V0 Okay, maybe we can just move this 180 to the left hand side So I have 180 And I just want to rewrite the rest of them 3 VA plus 10 VA will be 13 VA 13 VA and then minus, v, minus 10 V0 but we still have this part here so I will have plus 3 VA and then minus 15 V0 okay now I will have 180 that will equal to what? 16 VA 16 VA and then minus 25 V0 25 V0 okay maybe we should save this equation as equation number 1 and now let's work out what can we do from here because we have two variables we need two equation and let's use different color maybe okay we have v0 is here and as if you can see here we can just use uh, voltage divider to find v0 okay because the voltage divider will have v0 will be 4 divided by 4 plus 6 so 4 plus 6 multiplied by the voltage here right the voltage VA minus 0 that will be VA yeah so I will have V0 is equal to 4 divided by 10 VA you can simplify this but I think we need to plug this here first so I will have 180 that equal to 16 multiplied by what? Yeah, 4 over 10. Ah, that is VA. Sorry. This is still VA because we plug in the V0, right? So I will have 25 and that will be okay I think it might be easier to write this as 2 over 5 right 2 over 5 VA so I will have 2 over 5 VA and then this is 5 so I will have 180 is equal to 16 VA minus 10 VA so I will have 180 is equal to 6 VA and that means that VA is 30 volt but if VA is 30 volt we can just plug that here so we'll have V0 is equal to 2 over 5 multiplied by 30 and that will be 6 here so I will have V0 is equal to 12 and I think that is the final answer of the problem uh, and thank you for watching bye bye